Glow-in-the-Dark Animals, written by Ron Friedel. Table of Contents. Living Light, Reason to Glow, The Science Behind the Glow, Three Ways to Glow, Habitats of Glowing Animals, More to Know and Explore, and Glossary. Living light. Some animals carry their own light. Animals on land flash in the night and fish and other sea creatures glow. These glowing animals make their own light. They are called bioluminescent. This long word means life glowing. That first part, bio, comes from a Greek word that means life. The second part, luminescent, comes from a Latin word that means glowing. Reasons to glow. Animals flash and glow to help them survive on land and in the sea. Their lights can be red, yellow, green, or blue. They use their lights to signal, hunt, and hide. They also use them to call for help and to fool their enemies. Glowing helps them survive. Some kinds of glowing animals live in the sea. Very few live on land. You may have seen one of these glowing land animals on a warm summer evening. It's the firefly, a kind of beetle. Fireflies produce the glow in their abdomen, the hind part of their bodies, the, glow, the light is like a tiny flashlight swing, switching on and off. This flashing is a signal that helps these beetles communicate and find each other. Some glowing sea animals use their light to hunt. The anglerfish has a stalk on its head that acts like a fishing rod. The tip of the stalk has a glowing white light that attracts small ocean fish. As the angler moves its lure back and forth, the small fish come close to investigate. Then the angler swallows it up whole in one gloop. Other animals use their glow to hide from predators, animals that want to eat them. Some squid squirt chemicals into the ocean water to make a glowing cloud. This glow helps the squid so the predator cannot find it. Then the squid escapes. Krill are glowing sea animals that look like tiny shrimp. They use their glow to keep from becoming prey of fish and other ocean animals that want to eat them. Millions of krill use their light to signal each other. The signals help them gather together in huge groups. These glowing swirling swarms confuse the whales, sea lions, and fish that all rely on krill for food. Some sea animals use their glow to fool predators that are swimming around below them. Their glowing light looks similar to the moonlight or the sunlight that shines down into the ocean. The glow allows these animals to blend in against the bright surface of the water and makes it hard for predators to see them from below. The belly of the cookie cutter shark glows with a pale blue-green light. This glow matches the sunlight lit water above the swimming shark. The blue-green glow camouflages or hides the shark. The shark also has a small dark patch on its belly that does not glow. This dark patch tricks other fish because it looks like the shadow of a small fish. When a bigger fish comes near to catch it, the cookie cutter shark attacks and eats the fish. The science behind the glow. 
What makes these animals glow? Bioluminescent animals have two special chemicals in their bodies, luciferin and luciferase. When these chemicals mix with the oxygen, they produce light. These chemicals created light, this chemically created light is different from the light that light bulbs make. You would not touch a light bulb that's switched on. You might burn yourself. That's because an electric light bulb generates a lot of heat as well as light. But the glow that animals make would not hurt you because it is a cool glow. A glowing animal gives off very little heat. How do glowing animals turn their glow on and off? Some scientists believe this secret is oxygen. They think that oxygen fuels the glow and they believe that animals can turn their glow on and off by turning the supply of oxygen up or down. Other scientists have a different idea. They think that a tiny molecule in the animal's body acts like a switch to turn the light on and off, but no one knows for sure. Blink your eye. That's how quickly some animals flash. Now take your time and count to 10. That's how slow some animals flash. And some animals glow for a long, long time without stopping. The glow from ocean animals comes in several different colors. Animals in the ocean glow mostly blue or green, but some glow red. Glowing land animals most often give off a green or a yellow light. Three ways to glow. Some bioluminescent animals make their light inside their body. The chemicals and oxygen are mixed inside them. Some jellyfish produce enough light to make their whole body glow from the inside. Others make only parts of their body glow. Other animals produce their glow outside their bodies. They squirt the chemical into the seawater. Then the chemicals mix with the oxygen in the water. And that's how some shrimp can spit out uh, a glowing cloud. The shining blue cloud scares predators and the shrimp swims away. A few glowing animals do not make their own light. They borrow it. They use the light of tiny animals called bacteria. The flashlight fish stores about a billion glowing bacteria inside a pouch beneath each eye. Sometimes the flashlight fish looks as if it's blinking. That's when the fish rolls the pouch up and down to turn the light on and off. Now you see it, now you don't. There's that patch. Habitats of glowing animals. Bioluminescent sea animals live in all of the oceans, all of the Earth's oceans. Some live near the surface, but most glowing animals live deeper down, from about 200 meters to about 1,000 meters. Scientists call this area the twilight zone. Sunlight in this middle part of the ocean is a dim blue green. Most of the glowing animals in the twilight zone produce a matching blue-green light. Other glowing sea animals live even deeper down at the very bottom of the ocean. No sunlight reaches this deep. All the animals that live at this depth are bioluminescent and they produce the only light in this part of the salty ocean. Only a few kinds of glowing animals make their home on land. Among them are fireflies, 
glow worms and the two color railroad railroad worm. It's a hard hard tongue twister right there. More to know and explore. Scientists are using scientists use glowing animals to learn more about nature. They study the way small glowing animals move through water. Watching these tiny animals helps them learn how larger animals move through water. Scientists also use animal biolescence, bioluminescence, I'm sorry, to learn more about diseases such as cancer. Oceans cover about 70% of the Earth's surface. As a result, oceans are the largest habitat on Earth. When scientists explore new parts of oceans, they discover new kinds of animals. In 2009, scientists found a new kind of glowing animal, a swimming worm. They call it a green bomber. To escape from enemies, green bombers release tiny balloons of skin filled with a fluid that glows green. The glowing skin confuses enemies, which allows the green bombers to swim away. As scientists explore more parts of Earth's oceans, they hope to discover more strange and new animals that glow in the dark. Glossary, bacteria, bioluminescence, camouflages, luciferase, luciferin, molecule, oxygen, predators, prey, and twilight zone.